Hi, I'm Dennis Apple. I've been a pastor all my life and um, things are going well. I'm from Indiana and pastored in Chicago and Indianapolis and out to Kansas. And that's where I've been living since 1982. When we moved out there from Indiana with two little boys, they were in the fourth and second grade. And uh, we settled just south of Kansas City, wonderful place to raise children. We thought life was going well and I'm feeling great. I'm not a staff of uh, pastors in a large church. It was college church right there in, there in university. And uh, until everything was going fine until 1991. And uh, in February of 91, I was taking a group out to, um, uh, to ski. One of the great things about Kansas is we are close to Colorado. And I was taking a sleeper bus and uh, three days before we were to start, my 18 uh, year old boy by that time, Denny said, dad, I got a sore throat. And so I looked and sure enough, into the doctor the next day, he had mono. And uh, I'll just breeze over the a lot of facts, but just say to you that I went to wake him up then on the day of the ski trip, just a couple of days later, and he had had a reaction to the meds they gave him. Tylenol, uh, extra strength Tylenol with codeine. We did not know he was allergic to codeine. I went to wake him up and uh, discovered that he had died in his sleep. He's a triathlete. The doctor said he'd go skiing, but it all went to hell in a moment. And uh, my life changed. I remember, um, I remember having him on the floor. My brother was there. He stayed with us. He's an EMT certified. And he said, oh, Dennis, he's gone. My God, he's gone. He's dead. And I remember after knowing he was gone, I, uh, I looked up to the ceiling and I said, oh, God, this is not supposed to happen to me. I thought because I was a pastor, that uh, it would happen everywhere else. I, in fact, I administered to people all over who'd had other problems, but not me. I was immune. I thought to anything like that. I had to get out of jail free card, but it happened at my house. And I'm telling you this because I went, of course, into shock. I was in a nightmare and I went through uh, not weeks, not months, but years where I was still trying to go through the, uh, the motions of being a pastor, and yet at the same time, inside, I'm thinking, does God really care? Does prayer matter? It, it, should I just chuck the whole thing and walk away from it? I remember walking out of a hospital room once after uh, praying with someone, and I thought I might as well be praying to the Easter Bunny. God didn't give a rip about what's going on. And I'm telling you this because uh, I went through years where I didn't say anything to anybody. I just carried this inside until finally, in a meeting like this, a compassionate friends, when I decided that I was going to start telling the truth, my truth. And I discovered that other people said, oh, let me let me tell you my story. And so since that time, I've continued to tell the story. I do workshops called Struggling to Reclaim My Faith because now I have a growing faith. I'm very glad about that. But it took years. It took much longer than I ever dreamed it would happen. And so today I, I'm able to help others. We, I'm a chapter leader. My wife and I lead that back there in, in Kansas, in Olathe, Kansas, in our church is the uh, Church of the Resurrection there. It's a Methodist church, happens to be the largest Methodist church in the denomination. And so we have a lot of people that look to us. So we're glad to give back. And uh, I'm glad that my nightmare, as long as it took, yet still I stayed with it until today, I can feel like I have a growing faith. So thanks for hearing my story. I'm Dennis Apple from Olathe, Kansas.